All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. So, if you guys weren't here for the past few episodes, um, what happened is um, a few things happened. We had another battle with Kasane, and um, we won, but she ran away because we met up with our team. And our team made her run off, so she ran off. And now I can't remember what we're doing because now we're talking to Major General Fubuki. So that's what we're doing right now. So let's uh, hop right back into this game. And um, and Lily Red Wolf. Lily Red Wolf and Ice Wizards. Thank you for watching. Alright, let's get into the game. Let me turn on the game a little bit. Alright. Let's go. Let's get this done and over with. I've been thinking about this too much. My brain is going numb. I should get some rest. You I saw this yesterday. Mind if I come in? Major General Fubuki! How did you find this place? I told him. I thought it would be safer in the hideout rather than meet in the safe zone every time. Thank you, Luca. I managed to sneak past their surveillance, so we should be fine for a little while. They started... monitoring you? I told you before that I was a government dog. But I don't have to be a dog anymore, now that Karin's gone. Karin's personality didn't make him popular with the government. The Top Brass has been targeting him for elimination or personality rehabilitation for some time now. That's why I took on the role of being the government's puppet, directing the OSF in Karin's place. So, does he... He doesn't know that I had to become his monitor in order to protect him from the government. Besides, even if I told him, he'd probably just tell me to stay out of it. To be honest, I'm a little relieved. I don't have to be the government's yes-man anymore. Government surveillance will be stretched thin after Ceyron's uprising. I don't plan on missing this opportunity. 
I should be able to bring change to this country by taking a different path from Karin. Different path? What are you planning on doing? This country is aggressively pursuing power research through illegal human experimentations. I have no idea why. They can get away with it because the government has complete control over information. Even the media is under the government's monitoring and influence. I want to find out why they would do this and free this country from its corrupt system. Karin joined forces with Ceyron, belled against the state to do the same. However, yes, I feel that collapsing the government system from the inside is the fastest way to results. My brother is trying to change this country from the outside, while you're trying to change it from within. Yes. Feigning loyalty allows us opportunities to learn valuable information. We should be able to find out what they're getting through the city computer Arahobaki. Please, let me help you. I want to know what my father has done, and what my brother is hiding. Yuito, you are the commander of this platoon, and a commander's number one responsibility is to their platoon members. If you attempt to pursue these government secrets, it will undoubtedly put your platoon members in danger. Are you fully aware of that? Then please, remove me from command. I can't do that because, for better or worse, there are many eyes on you. There's also the fact that your post was specifically ordered by Chief Kaito Sumeragi. Well, if we all agree with what Commander Yuito is doing, then it doesn't matter. Yama! Either way, my time's F is drawing to an end. I'm getting too old. But before I leave, I want to uncover the truth. I want to know why that happened to Naomi, and why Nagi received personality rehabilitation. I agree with Gemma. If you're going to try to uncover the government's secrets, then I would like to help. I was also subjected to this country's human experiments. What do you mean? My brother Karin and I received power enhancement treatments. I had no idea. If Yuito can't be removed from the platoon, then you can remove the platoon members instead. Any member who doesn't want to take part in this can simply be assigned to a different platoon. And I can't very well turn down your help now. However, reorganizing your platoon requires paperwork. So I will issue an official deployment order in the meantime. Please gather intel around the Seiron area. I've heard deserters are appearing around Mizuhagawa. Former OSF members sympathetic to Seiron's cause could be up to something. While you're investigating, I will take the steps necessary to reassign Hanabi and Sugumi. What? Oh. Okay, get to it then. Yuito, I'll stay in the platoon as the operator. I feel the same as you and Gemma. I'll help you stop the government from doing whatever they want. Thanks, Wataru.
There's a chance that Ceron OSF patrols might show up beyond this point. Let's keep our eyes open. Were you serious about what you said back at the hideout? About helping Major General Fubuki? Right. Because wouldn't that mean going against your brother and your late father? I'm... staying in this platoon. What? Sugumi. What happened to Naomi was terrible. And if the government had something to do with it, then I won't let them get away with it. Hold on. Incoming others from the front. Hanabi, yes. Sugumi, we'll talk later. For now, let's clean up the others. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. On this guy. I need you, Gemma. Are there any more others? I'm not reading any. Mm. Yuito, are you okay? Huh? Yeah, I didn't take too much damage in that fight. What are you talking about? You suddenly said your head hurt and stopped dead in your tracks. Huh? Did you black out again? Do you remember what we were talking about? Hanabi asked me if I was really going to help Major General Fubuki, and then Sugumi said she was going to stay in the platoon. And after that? After that, we got attacked by others, so we obviously didn't talk about anything. <laughs> right? You don't remember Luca and Gemma's stories? What did they talk about? About my aging, and the experiments Luca was subjected to. <sighs> Sorry, I don't remember any of that. Did you really talk about that? Yuito, I was listening, so I can verify. I'm not seeing any abnormalities to your status, so maybe it's just mental exhaustion, like the doctor said. The more you use your power, the more you tax your brain. It might be better to avoid fights right now. I can't do that. We have our assignment. Are you really okay? A snake boat. Ginger. Huh? What? Flax pig. Table slug? What? None of the words are matching what I'm thinking. Apple home child! I see an abnormality in his cranium. What's going on? His speech is impaired. His brain must have experienced a great amount of stress. Well, what can we do? We have the medication the hospital provided. But that ampule seems fishy. It looks exactly like the ampules we found at the abandoned subway. Everyone, be careful. You have an other closing in on you. Just a 
Timing couldn't be worse. Stay here and rescue Ito. We'll handle the others. Damn it! My head feels like it's going to split in two! my power at all. I won't even be able to fight. What can we do? Is there some way to cure him? Do I... drink it? Yuito! <laughs> no time to be squeamish. That other's gonna kill me if I don't take this. I have to! <laughs> Yuito? Did he drink the medication? Sugumi! I'm looking now. Oh, the abnormality in his cranium is starting to disappear. This medication is really working. Uh, my head is starting to hurt a lot less. Yuito, I can understand what you're saying now. Can you fight? Yeah, I'm off. good to go. Come on! I can move. It doesn't hurt as much. I can do this. Use this. Hey, Sonobi. Here we go. Here we go. A member down. Go support. Come on, regroup. You guys good? Thank you for your help. on my end. How are you feeling, Yuito? You're fine now. I know I had you worried, but I'm glad I took it. Honestly, I wasn't going to be any help in that condition. That makes sense. And I'm not seeing any signs of side effects either. Perhaps there was no need to worry about the medication after all. Well, it smelled weird and tasted really bad. Are we going to continue on our assignment? Shouldn't we go back to the hideout and rest a little bit? I'm fine. My powers are working normally again. I'll let you know if something feels off. Let's keep going. Copy that. But please don't push yourself too hard. Promise me. Okay. I promise.
reading you here.
we've been spending a lot of time together recently. Is everyone okay? Wait, there's something up ahead. The extinction belt is thick above that area, so I can't detect anything from my end. Any other information? I think they're trucks. Two of them. They're moving towards Ceyron? Hmm? What is it? Mm. I thought I just saw something inside the truck bed. Although, it was... Probably my imagination. Okay, I managed to tap into a nearby surveillance camera feed. Those are OSF transport vehicles. Enemy or ally? Yuito Platoon is the only OSF team deployed near Mizuhagawa. Then I guess that means they're Seiron's OSF team. <gasps> I see two individuals heading towards us. It looks like Kagura and Kyuka. <laughs> Of course. They're invisible. Be careful. I'm not picking them up at all. All right. Right. Here they come. Right. Take that. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh, fuck of course. I wonder why Kyoka and Kagura attacked us. I thought that Kasane was the one after Yuito. Is it because they're on Kasane's side? For some other reason. Regardless, please be careful. No, I can't. Where's the enemy? Sorry. Even if you've gone this far, my clairvoyance can see you. Your power is the absolute worst to go against. I wonder if that's why we're such good friends. If you really think that, then retreat. I don't want to do this. Let's go, bitch. than anticipated. 
Let's go. We did what we Were Kyoka and Kagero guarding this area? Could it have to do with the transport vehicle? They were clearly stalling for time. I'll try to follow them. Sugumi, could you send me their tracking data? I can't. There are so many Kagero's and Kyoka's. They're all going in different directions. That's Kyoka's duplication power. They're attempting to confuse us. I'm sorry. It's going to take time to identify the real... I also lost sight of the transport vehicles. I hate losing. It was a diversion to hide the transport vehicle's destination from Sugumi. Which direction were the vehicles going the last time you saw them? I think towards Seiron. They must have been carrying something important if they made sure we didn't follow. We might be able to find out some information. Give me some time. I'll see what I can find out with Tsugumi's information. Yuito, there's a place I want to check out, but it's in a different direction from Seiron. It looks like the duplicates are all in this area. I can't be sure, but it seems suspicious. Nice catch, Wataru. Okay, we'll go check it out. What is this place? There's nobody here. Hey! I see the transport vehicles! Then this must be it. We're pretty far from the city. Do you think this is still Seiron's facility? I can't seem to find any information on it at all, which only makes it more suspicious. Looks like they haven't noticed us yet. But I do feel a strange presence here. I can't really put it into words either. I will go check the vehicle. Sugumi, Wataru, please cover me. Hey, Yuito. Are you remembering things okay? What about your speech? Any headaches? I'm okay for now. No need to worry so much. You are making sense. It's natural for her to feel worried. Don't push yourself too hard. You've always had health problems, ever since you were little. That's right. You did mention that before. Yeah. I spent most of my early childhood inside a hospital. They finally let me leave when I was around five, and I've been fine ever since. Wait, Luca found something quite alarming. Mean. I know what the transport vehicles are carrying. Human heads? What the that can't be. The transport vehicle was filled with these. No, I thought... I was just seeing... Really? One of the trucks was already empty, but I believe it was carrying the same thing. Bucks worth of human heads? What in the hell for? Let's try sneaking in a little further. Kasane and her team might be here. Okay. Let's find out why they're doing this anyway. We're gonna have another fucking battle with Kasane. This gate needs a key card to open, I think. It won't open. I guess sneaking in is going to be harder than I thought. I can't use my clairvoyance on any of these doors. Hmm. Who are... Forgive the rough treatment. Don't worry, we only knocked him out. He won't be waking up for a while. 
Wow, all three of you were amazing. Thanks, I couldn't even move. I'm glad I have people like you who can make such quick decisions. Hold on, this might be a key card for the door. Nice find, Sugumi. We shouldn't have a problem getting in now. This puts us in enemy territory. I need to be ready for anything. Okay, let's try this door. blood. Perhaps a researcher was attacked by another. Alright, I don't know how long I've been screaming for, but I'm getting tired, so I'm gonna head off for, and, um, I'm gonna stream this a little short, but, um, I'm getting tired, so if you enjoyed, please, you guys to come back for another stream at some point, I don't know when it'll be, when the next one will be, I'm probably gonna take a little break, but, um, 
Hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.